Hey Aquarius, let's see what your ancestors want to bring to your attention. Passed on loved ones. We have the fool. So what this is saying is that they are saying take a leap of faith. You have this brand new journey ahead of you. That can mean that, you know, another chapter has closed for you. But this is like a, a door closes and a new door is opening for you. So it's like, understand that you, you know, take the leap and you will be caught. You will be protected. You will be guided. You're going into the unknown of something. This could be job. If, if this is job, check out my money and career reading. Um, I did for each sign, but let's see what else comes out. What do we have for Aquarius? We have, you are the image maker. What you focus on manifests. What thought pattern do you need to shift? And look, on that new path, right? So I feel like this is really telling you that what you focus on is what you're manifesting. This could be anything. If you have negative thoughts or maybe it is, you know, um, you know, maybe you've had something that ended and this could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be, you know, uh, friends, family, relationship. And now it's like you're kind of on this solo journey and you are meant to be amazed by this new journey okay you're meant to learn so many new things you're meant to come up on challenges you see this mountain here in the background i feel like that's saying there are challenges but it's all the more to motivate you and to um, give you those victorious moments what else do we have And we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So this is this is definitely saying, you know, that this this could be a trip that you're taking, like a vacation. This could be anything where you are feeling replenished, rejuvenated. You may have been through a lot, and now it's about filling your own cup and really self care. What else do we have for Aquarius? And we have the princess of shells, the romantic. So this definitely could have something to do with relationships. I feel like this is you coming into opening your heart to some type of romantic relationship, feeling the healing. It's like you're ready you're ready to take on something new here what else do we have we have the ace of roses the ace of wands passion so what are you passionate about this could definitely be a new um, passionate love relationship this could also be about now going after something that you're very passionate about going for a job that utilizes your talents and skills that really brings you fulfillment, makes you feel inspired, motivated, you know, wanting to jump up and get up for work every day. This could be having a true connection to the divine, to God, really feeling that, that um, give and take relationship and feeling like you can have those deep conversations with God. All right, what do we have as the challenge? We have the high priestess, intuition. This is where you're, you're, if you're having a challenge in this area, you've become disconnected from listening to your heart, listening to your intuition, listening to what you're being guided to, getting a weird feeling about a person. Maybe this is about, you know, having been lonely, kind of telling yourself, no, you're just afraid because you don't want to get hurt. But you could really have bells and whistles going off in the negative or the positive. Either way, this is this is a challenge for you to connect to your intuition because of things that have happened in the past distracting you or causing you to walk forward in fear. 
But I feel like spirit is saying overcome that fear and really connect to what your heart is leading you to. Show me the advice from spirit. And we have the Hierophant tradition. I feel like this is this is really guiding you towards a long-term commitment. This is this is like getting back to the traditional ways of things. This is your advice. This is about connecting with God because you need that guidance. You need that support. You need that healing. What else do we have? We have the outcome as the moon, fear, and this is what we were talking about. So you have three major arcana, actually four here. So I feel like, you know, this is a really major time for you. It's a, it's a big turning point for you. So this is about really overcoming your fears and following your dreams. This is definitely about dreams, illusions, fantasy, but fear is where where your focus is. So this is about letting go of fears, overcoming fears, operating despite your fears, but also looking at the root cause of what am I really afraid of? Why am I, in, why am I in fear? At the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups, the empath. So definitely back to that intuition, that really following your heart, your emotions are leading you to exactly where you need to be all right let's clarify show me that princess of cups and we have the two of pentacles so i feel like you may be playing around with the idea i feel like you need to get emotional about your decision or about something i feel like your priorities have been kind of um tossed around and your focus has gone to things that it's like your energy is going to things that you don't mean that's not what you want your energy to go towards so really prioritizing and getting your energy back focused towards what you want towards what you desire being in the vibration of what you truly desire show me that ace of wands passion and we have the star, there you are. This is about being inspired to live your true self. This is also about having faith and hope and guidance from the divine. Um, this is also about, like I got in the Libra reading, it's like letting go of dread and allowing yourself to be inspired, allowing yourself to have hope, allowing yourself to have faith, faith in in the divine processes of the universe. All right, so what's this high priestess about as a challenge? And we have the tower. So I feel like the, this is, you know, whatever major thing happened prior to this is really has you disconnected from your intuition because you didn't see it coming. But this is all to break up things that aren't meant to be in your life. It's about getting a clean slate so that you can really start and build a more solid foundation. Show me that Hierophant. And we have the Nine of Wands. So I definitely feel like this has been, um, you know, a lot of weight to carry, but this is time, you're almost there. This is time to do the final push perseverance and I feel like this is fear. I feel like these are all fears that you need to overcome. And you may say, I'm not afraid of nothing, but there is, um, your actions tell a different story here. Show me that moon. And we have the two of swords. It's something you're not seeing. Something that where you really need to do that inner journey, that self-care, and really get to know yourself and what you're really afraid of. The bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant again. So I definitely feel like there is, um, there is a need to really connect. And I feel like you may have just been distracted, focused on other things, but it's time to get back to basics and really connect with your faith and what you believe. Start establishing. And then underneath that, we have the Ace of Wands again. So I definitely 
feel like there's something that you are going to be inspired by. It's like, I feel like you're almost going to um, be like zapped with this energy of focusing on love and fulfillment and following your heart and trusting your intuition, your, your emotions too. All right, so let's see what your guardian angels have to say. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, we got two. All right, so the first one, manifestation. Believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. That's exactly what I've been saying here. Star, beautiful. Believe in yourself. You are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember, stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. Never forget you are truly a shining star. And we have that star card here that is just so synchronistic. So spirit is really trying to um, confirm everything that was said here. So what, what guidance do we have for Aquarius? You are a special person. You do make a difference. I believe that with all my heart. I feel that. Focus on your dreams. Allow the power of manifesting to start now. Absolutely. Let's get one more. Tell a loved one how much they do truly mean to you. It is better to tell them while they are among the living. It is better, but just know that anyone that is passed on, you can speak out loud and they will hear you. All right, those are the messages that came through. Beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm so excited for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.